Hello YouTube, my name is Phantom and welcome to Mad Madness. This is the tournament that gives every team a chance. If you haven't watched, here is the bracket thus far. Today we have the Seahawks and the Rams. The winner moves on and the loser goes home. We're at a neutral stadium at Gillette in Foxborough. Who do you think's gonna win? Let us know in the comments below. Like the video and subscribe for more. Without further ado, here we go. It looks like the Rams will receive the ball first. And that means the Seahawks will get the ball to start the second half. Kicks away. And Cooper is going to take a knee in the end zone for a touchback. Out comes Jared Goff. His stats last year were pretty terrible, but he's done a complete turnaround this season. One of the top five turnarounds in over the course of, a, of an offseason. And for this first play, it's really important because it sets the tone of the drive and the game. You come out with a run, that's good which we, because you probably won't turn the ball over, but if you come out and throw and have a bad throw, that sets a bad tone. So we'll see what they do here. They do throw. Slant route to Watkins, and Watkins... Big run to start. Oh, Watkins. One play, touchdown, Rams. And that's a boomer to start. That feels just like the Seahawks versus Rams that happened during the regular season. Just some missed tackles. One missed tackle. There's one more here. Just can't catch him. It's already 6 nothing Rams. McVay's fired up. <laughs> so is Michael Brockers. Extra point is good. Man, the Seahawks really don't know what hit them. One play, it's 10 seconds, 75 yards. <laughs> Man. Let's see if the Seahawks can answer. And last season really did feel like a handing of the torch from one powerhouse to another in the division. We'll see if that was a mere um, facade. Wilson's going to come out now. One of the, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. And, and honestly... He's pretty much the only thing keeping the Seahawks with any uh, keeping the Seahawks competitive in their division at all. Because honestly, you take out the Cardinals, and any three of the, these teams can win the N NFC West next year. So they're going to come out first down, first and ten, coming out in a balanced formation. Wilson's going to throw to start as well. Scrambles, dumps it off to Graham. Graham's got some space. First down and more. Out to the 43, gain of 18. And Graham's been a part of the team now for just about th three years, I want to say. Three, four years. 
And last year was his first real uh, productive year since he was traded from the Saints. They're going to break huddle under 10 seconds to get this playoff. Running formation, I formation. Wilson's going to hand it off to Carson. Gain of two, out to the 45. And that's one thing that the Seahawks have really struggled with since they lost Mar Marshawn Lynch to retirement was running the ball. And part of that is because of that line, one of the worst lines in the NFL. Balance formation for Wilson and the Seahawks. Handing it off to Carson. Carson's got a good little gainer. Gain of four out to the 49. It's going to be about a third and two. Rockers, Donald. The Rams have had a good defense for going back to the Jeff Fisher days. And they've really built this team around. They also acquired um, the defensive coordinator from Denver, Wade Phillips. Wilson's going to throw it. Ba hits Baldwin. That's a first down for the Seahawks. Gain of about 11. Just a drag route across the field. Baldwin got walloped. Seahawks are going to come out in a throwing heavy formation. But they will hand it off with Carson up the middle. There's a flag down. And let's see who this is against. It looks like it's going to be a face mask against the defense. It's against Aaron Donald. And I believe he was voted Defensive Player of the Year. So, kind of uncharacteristic for him. Ram er, Seahawks are on the edge of the red zone here as the Seahawks come out in a running formation. Let's see what they do here. He's going to throw. Batted around, incomplete, could have been picked off. And if that's picked off, that's a pick six. Just an unlucky... It wasn't Wilson's fault, particularly. Second and ten coming up. Just under four minutes left in the first. Two wide receivers on each end. Wilson is going to try and scramble. Ball is loose. Seahawks recover it. And that was almost disaster again. Third and 16 coming up. So it was Aaron Donald that caused, caused that fumble. Makes up for that face mask call. Lucky for the Seahawks, that one wasn't recovered. Now we got a long third and 16 coming up. Honestly, if I'm the Seahawks, I'm going to play this kind of conservatively. Go, er. Fakes the handoff. Wilson's going to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it deep. It's too far. Took a shot at the end zone, but no good. Ball falls incomplete. 
It's going to be 4th and 16, and we should expect the field goal unit on the field. So LA comes out for a one-play score, and Seattle gets a field goal. It's going to be one of those 7-3 to three games. If this kick is good, it's a far field goal. And it's too far. Kick is wide right. Seahawks have not started out well in this game. And that's what the Seahawks, that's really how they've been the last five years under Pete Carroll. They struggle to start games, but they come back in the end. They get better as the game goes along. And now the Rams have decent field position to start their next drive. They're going to come out in a running formation. Seahawks only rushing four. Rushing five, correction. Throw, catch. Gain of about almost ten yards. Second and inches coming up. And now the Seahawks have to be very careful because... The playbook's wide open. They can, the Rams can go deep downfield, or they can simply run it off, or they can expect the blitz and throw a screen. Anything can happen. Running formation. Goff hands it off to Gurley, and Gurley's got the first, and some more yards out to the 49 into Seattle territory. First and ten coming up. So they elect to just take the first down. Nasty stiff arm by Gurley. And he's also had a resurgence too. After a struggling rookie year. Rams will come out in the eye. Seahawks sending extra pressure. Goff, incomplete. He had pressure that time from the Seahawks defense. Here's the Rams offense. We didn't get a chance to show them on the last drive. After the one play score. Watkins, Woods, and Gurley. Goff hands it off to Gurley up the middle and Goff runs up to try and get a block I like that I like that a lot I never under I don't if I if I was coaching I would definitely tell my QB to get out there and block see what you can do They're going to send their tight end out, th out there wide. And Goff's going to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it incomplete. So it looks like Rams will punt after going 0 for 1 on third down. Their first third down and their first failure to convert. Rams will punt. Johnny Hecker kicks it out of bounds, and we'll see where they spot this. It's going to be at the 24, so just four yards worse than a touchback. And the Seahawks come out, and they have a chance to tie this game still. After the one-play touchdown that the Rams gave up, and then Seattle's failure to hit the field goal, you'd think that the game would be a lot worse right now than it is. 
We'll see if the Seahawks can answer. Running formation for Wilson. Fakes the handoff, rolls to his right. He's got he's got Luke Wilson. Luke Wilson hits a first down and more. Ball's now out to the 43-yard line, gain of 18. Good job by Wilson. Better job by Luke Wilson. And it looks like the Seahawks don't have to run a play if they don't like it. But they come out in the running formation. See if they run this play. They will. It's Wilson throwing from under center. It's Graham over the middle. Gain of seven out to midfield. Second and three coming up in the second quarter. Scores not tied. 7-0 Rams. Second and three, start of the second quarter. Rams lead 7-0. Bounce formation, Wilson's gonna line up under center. Almost gets him to go off sides. Carson's got space up the middle. Gain of nine. That's a first down. And now this running game's getting going a little bit. So usually the <laughs> usually the um, play action sets up, or no, the run sets up the play action, but the play action set up the run this time. Three, three wide receivers. Wilson's going to throw. He's got pressure in his face. Hits Carson. Carson with a decent gain. Gain of five. And they're starting to go to him a little bit more now. Seahawks are going to rush out to the line. I formation with re receivers out. They're going to hand it up the middle to Carson, who gets stuffed at the line. Gain of nothing. Third and six coming up. Seahawks are one for two on third down. The line just could not handle the pressure. Two Rams were just draped all over him. Third and six coming up. Seahawks are going to break huddle. And they're going to come out. Two wide receivers on each side with one running back. Five linemen. Wilson's going to throw. He's going to step up. He's got the first down. He's scrambling. Ball's out. Oh, what a nasty hit. Oh, geez. Good thing there's no <laughs> injuries because I'd be looking at him for a concussion. Ah. He recovers his own fumble. So he's fumbled twice in this one. Able to recover both fumbles, luckily. So, no harm, no foul. They're going to have first and ten. And that is a conversion on third down. So that makes them two for three on the day. Four minutes and 36 seconds left in the four, or in the second first half Wilson's going to come out in the shotgun Wilson's going to throw and Graham dropped it tried to go for that quick slant to evade the pressure but ball just 
fell out of his hands. And you expect better from Graham, honestly. Second and ten coming up. So you wonder after that drop if the Seahawks will go back to the run, which they've had some success with on this drive. Coming out in the eye formation. Hands it off, Carson. And Carson's got a gain of four. Third and six coming up. Seahawks are two for three. Trying to make it three for four. Seahawks will have th three receivers. And looks like we're going to have a, fir a false start. False start. Offense. And you can't really ex be too surprised. Seahawks were one of the most penalized teams in the league last year. Third and 11 coming up. Third and 11 is much harder than third and six. And it's definitely a throwing down. So Wilson's going to come out in this very similar formation. Wilson's going to throw. Stepping up in the pocket. He's scrambling. Spins and goes down ultimately. Gain of only two on the play. Fourth and four coming up. So that makes the Seahawks 50% on third down. Good job by Littleton. Not giving up on when he spun. And they're going to come out and try the field goal once again. See if Blair Walsh can hit this one. Walsh's kick is good. So it's 7 to 3 Rams. So Walsh atones a little bit for his miss earlier. And McVay's got to come out and answer that field goal now. He has all the time in the world. 162 ticks on the clock and three timeouts plus the two minute warning his number one concern though should be just to get the points ball's caught at the goal line by Thomas he's running it out he's got a pretty good return out to the 32 where the Rams will start their drive Here comes Goff. And their offense so far has been really inconsistent. It's been a one play touchdown. And then they were unable to convert on third down. So they're 0 for 1 on third down with one touchdown. And they're going to come out 1. Under center. Gurley spins, but that doesn't get by anybody. It's a loss of two. Reed got the stop. And there's another Seahawk right behind him, so the line got beat hard on that play. The Rams don't have to run another play on this. Um, and it looks like they will not. Two minute warning. Rams lead seven to three. Rams have the ball looking to increase the score. And we're back seven to three at the two minute warning. 
Rams are on their own 30 with two minutes left. And they kind of have to hurry now. On the other side of the two-minute warning, they had plenty of time, but now they need to get their hurry-up offense going. Bunch set to the left, two wide receivers to the right. Field takes the snap. Goff surveys, steps up, avoids the pressure, gets the ball off as he's hit, throws it away. So we got a third and 12 coming up. Rams have not converted on third down. Now this is a danger. Now this is dangerous because dude, you got to try and just not throw the pick here or fumble. Goff snaps it. Gurley's got got the ball. Slips the tackle, and that, they were conservative there, trying to just hold on to the ball and run a little bit of clock, just trying not to turn it over. The Seahawks take a timeout to stop the clock, 7-3. And we're back. Fourth and nine, and the Rams are going to punt. Goff's got to be disappointed. And the Seahawks will get the second half kickoff so they can double up here. It could be 17 to 7 by the time the Rams see the ball again. And the Rams know that, so they would really like a stop here. And it's going to go into the end zone for a touchback. Ball comes out to the 20 yard line. And the Seahawks will come out and see if they can. Run the clock down and get a touchdown. Carson was pretty productive on the last drive. See if they go with him again. But they only have two timeouts and they do not have all day. Wilson's going to throw, and he's got Graham. Graham dropped the last one, but he gets this one. It's a first down. Wilson's going to hurry up. Wilson snaps it, takes the snap, steps up. He's scrambling. He's got the first down a little bit more, tries to spin. Doesn't work, and he's going to try and hurry up the offense again. Get another playoff. Wilson, and he's going to run again. This time he slides down. Second and four as he hurries up. Under a minute to play. Clock is running. Wilson steps up, steps to the side, throws. Richardson down at the 27. Seahawks are going to take a timeout. And they're in field goal range just like that. And we'll see what they do when they come back. When we come back. All right, Seahawks have the ball. They're at the at the Rams 27. And if I'm the Seahawks, I have the ability to run. Honestly, you can get a runoff and spike the ball with plenty of time left and you're you've, you've moved the ball now so fast that you have oh they're gonna throw it and he calls them off sides Robert Quinn this time Good job by Wilson. Now the Seahawks are up to the 22. 
And honestly, if I'm the Seahawks, I call a screen here because you bet that LA is blitzing. And the good thing with screens, too, is. Well, we'll see what they do here. Breaking huddle with 20 seconds on the play clock. Wilson's got time to survey the field. Wilson scrambles immediately. Guards the ball, slides down at the 14. And he's pretty much put the team on his back at this point. He's got five rushes for 44. And the clock's running, and they're not in any hurry now. You gotta wonder if the Rams are gonna put a QB spy on him. Wilson's out in the throwing motion. Wilson throws. Incomplete. 14 seconds left on the play clock, and they're at the Rams 14. So basically. It's really difficult to get a first down here. You pretty much have to score or kick the field goal. And Seahawks only have one timeout, so they will be they'll probably take a shot into the end zone with this play. Wilson throws it over the middle. That's Jimmy Graham. And they're gonna take the timeout. Third and four coming up. Seahawks want to be gutsy here they can try and throw it in the end zone and that'll kill another maybe two or three seconds and then it'll be fourth down which is when you would kick the field goal anyway but we'll see what they do here looks like they will run a play oh he got him off sides again Wilson's just put the team on his back for this drive. And we're going to have a first down, first and goal, although that doesn't really matter at this point. Well, it does actually because the Seahawks might be able to take two shots in the end zone now. If they manage the clock right and if they don't take a sack. Can't take a sack here. Sack would be terrible. Would just end, end the half, basically. And the Rams will be blitzing. We'll see what they do here. They're going to break huddle. And they're going to come out. Three wide receivers. Wilson's going to line up under center, surprisingly. Wilson steps back, throws for the end zone, and too high. Try to get it to Richardson on that play, but he was doubled. But that was a good throw by Wilson. That's a prayer throw. Either he gets it or no one gets it. Richardson basically had to play defense on that play. Crashes down on two defenders. And you have time for another throw here, as long as you're quick. If, if Wilson has to, if Wilson doesn't see anybody, he should throw it away immediately. Three wide receivers. And that's a touchdown. Seahawks get a touchdown at the end of the second half. They take the lead. That's Luke Wilson, that's the other tight end. Rams just had a little zone. Can't have zone against quarterbacks like that because they'll pick you apart. So Wilson to Wilson. And extra point is good. Nine plays in a minute and a half. 
March down the field and score a touchdown. And now the Rams are down. And now he got a ball game. And Seahawks get the ball at the second half, so they're in great shape. Rams will probably just take the ball and take a knee and get out of here. Don't want anything else to go wrong. But Thomas is going to run it out anyway, see if he can get something to happen. He can't, and that's the end of the first half. Score is 7-10 to 10, Seattle. Skipping the second half here. Or skipping the halftime show, I should say. Pete Carroll. Sean McVay. And Greg Zerline's going to kick it off, and Seahawks are going to have a chance to double their... double up on the Rams. We'll see if they figured out a way to stop Wilson's legs. Richardson is going to run it out. He's got some blocking, and he's still up. Evades the tackle, and he's taken down at the 34. Very good return. And we'll see if the Seahawks can keep their momentum going. Seattle's going to come out. Bunch receivers to the right. Wilson hands it off to Carson. Delayed handoff. And gain of three. Second and seven coming up. Seahawks come out. Three three wide receivers. Wilson steps back. It's a screen to Carson, and Carson's got space. Carson! Chris Carson! And he's finally dropped at the 17-yard line. So two plays, and they're already in the red zone. And that's what I said that Wilson and the Seahawks should should be doing is anticipating the blitz, getting the ball out to the halfback, and just letting him do all the work. Excellent play call, excellent drive. So Carson's got 51 yards on receiving, and he's got maybe that somewhere close to that much in running. Wilson hands it off to Davis, and Davis has room. Davis! Davis has a touchdown. The score's now 16 to 10, or 16 to 7. So they don't blitz, and that means that the running back, oh, what a hit. And that means that the backup running back can get in there. Momentum is all Seattle. Walsh with the extra point. And the score is now 17 to 7. It's a 10 point ball game.
We'll see if the Rams can answer. They haven't been able to muster much offense since the one play touchdown at the beginning of the game. We'll see what they were able to do at the halftime. It's going to be Farrow Cooper taking the kick. Kicks away. Cooper takes the knee. Ball's coming out to the 25. And here come the Rams. LA comes out in the running formation. Seattle sends some pressure. Gurley runs left. And he's dropped in the backfield. Loss of three on the play. Third and 13 coming up. Bobby Wagner with the hit. And the Rams' woes continue. Savage hit. Cliff Averill and company. Let's see what they can do on this play. Appear to be rushing five. Rams Goff. And he's got a short gain, four yards to carrier. It's going to be a third and nine coming up. They are 0 for 2 on third down. And it's a third and long. Three receivers to the right. Goff steps up. He's sacked. Michael Bennett. And that ends the Rams' drive. Didn't even see him coming. McVay's got to do something quick to get his team together. Because this could be the coffin. This could be the final nail in the coffin if Seattle can get another touchdown. Hecker goes to punt. Kicks away. Booming kick. And it's about a four yard return to the 25 where the Seahawks will start their drive. Wilson. Yeah, he's been doing pretty good. 10 for 15, 150 yards and one TD. Not bad. Overall, it's been an equal point, equal parts, Wilson and the running game. We'll see what they can do here. Four receivers. Wilson fakes the handoff. Baldwin, it's a wide receiver screen. Baldwin's got some space. Baldwin gets down at the 40. And we'll see what the flag is, though. Ooh, that's, that's killer. It's on the wide receiver, Tyler Lockett. Wow. You have a big game, and then you have a holding call that brings it back. That's killer. It's going to be first and 18 now from the 18. Three, three receivers. Wilson. And he's going to run. He slips a tackle. He's got a gain of five. 
And you can see that the Rams have adjusted a little bit, anticipating the run a little bit. Second and 13 for the Hawks. Now they got four receivers out there. One running back, Wilson. Fakes the, fakes the quick throw. Throws, and he's got Graham. No, he doesn't. Another drop for Graham. Third and 13 coming up. And the Seahawks have been all, all right. They're three for five thus far. This is their sixth attempt. Wilson's going to throw. Wilson rolling around. He finds Baldwin. That's a first down to the 42. And that's a pretty common sight. Russell to Baldwin. They've only had one completion. That's the second completion to Baldwin in this game. And I think, once again, the Rams sat out in the zone when it was third and long, and it really bit them. So Hawks have another set of downs. Coming out in a running formation. Strong right. It appears Carson's going to run left. Carson's got space. Carson down to the 42 of Rams territory. So Carson's having a day. Seahawks are going to come out pretty balanced. Wilson's going to hand it to Carson again, and Carson's got space again. Gain of about seven. It's going to be a second and short, second and three. And the Seahawks are going to be able to run this play, and then maybe one more, and that's going to do it for the third quarter. Running formation for the offense. Wilson hands it to Carson once again. They don't get the first down, though. Gain of only two. The Seahawks will go for it on third down. So they've had six attempts already. This will be their seventh, and we'll see what happens on the other side. 17 to 7, Seahawks are winning. It's all Seahawks right now as the Seahawks get ready for this third and short. And this is the play of the game so far. Rams will likely be blitzing and if Seahawks can have the courage to throw, then they'll probably get the completion. They're going to fake the handoff, and Wilson's going to scramble, throws anyway. He's got Madden. Madden rolls around, but nobody touches him, so he gets up and invites a hit, and he hit he, hit he is. And McVay can't believe it. And that's what Wilson can do. He can. That's, what it, that's basically the main thing he does. And Johnson had to come way up to hit him. But that's what Wilson does. He rolls around until he finds an open man. And then boom. Three receivers to the left. Wilson. He's gonna scramble again, but this time they don't they don't buy it. Sack. Johnson. Second and thirteen coming up. That's really what the Rams need in this one. It might be too late. 
though. We'll see. Yeah, he just tries to scramble to the right as he's been doing all the game. But the Rams finally anticipate and they finally bring him down behind the line. Rams really need to hold him to a field goal at the very most. Wilson's going to fake it to Carson. And he takes the ball and he stopped it at the line. So it's third and long coming up. Seahawks have been pretty good on third down so far. They're four for seven. This will be their eighth attempt of the game. And they break out a little bit late. Five seconds left on the play clock. Wilson rolls left, throws, and he's got his man, Jimmy Graham. And that sets the Rams in really terrible shape. So Graham's had some drops in this one, but when the game's on the line, he steps up. Seahawks are at the five-yard line, first and goal. If they get a touchdown, it's the Rams have to start praying. After being up 7-0 in the first quarter, Carson's going to run, and only a gain of two. Second and goal coming up, but more importantly, it chews the clock. Seahawks are going to come out in the eye. Wilson to Carson, and Carson's got a touchdown. And the Rams are really in trouble now. They got bounced in the playoffs in the first game, and they're in really, really big danger of being bounced again and the extra points good 7 to 24 Seahawks and the defense has to be frustrated Seattle was able to do it pretty much whatever they wanted including converting when it was a first and 18 to start off the drive McVeigh needs some magic here. They need at least two more one-play touchdowns. But Rams do have three timeouts, so... They basically need to score a touchdown before... Even before the two-minute warning. They need to score a touchdown, like, now. <laughs> on this play right here. Thomas is going to take the knee though. Going to march out to the 25 and they're going to see if Goff can do it. And what's really killing the Rams is they have not converted on third down can't keep a drive going then you can't score if you can't score it's all up to your defense and if your defense can't make or if you, they can't stop the offense one one time if they stop the offense I'm mumbling but Goff gets a high snap hands it to Gurley there's a flag down and we'll see who this is against And that's a free 15 for the Rams. Not a critical mistake, but definitely not one you want. 
We'll see if the Rams can turn this into some kind of momentum. And you got to think the way this game's shaped out. They got the one play touchdown to start off the game, and they just kind of stopped playing on offense. Just expecting to win. Expecting a repeat of their last matchup with the Seahawks. As they hand it to Gurley again. And I don't understand why, what's going on with these play calls. You're down 21 points in the fourth. And. Oh wait, you're down 17 points, excuse me. And you're calling some and you're calling back to back runs. Goff's gonna throw here. And he hits Cooper Cup. Short gain. Gain of four. Third and five coming up. And we'll see if the Rams can actually get a third down conversion here. off hits Watkins on the slant and while it's not as effective as it was in the first quarter it does get a nice little gain out to the 39 and clock still running and Watkins beat Richard Sherman on that play But honestly, that, the Seahawks are okay with those kinds of plays. Keeps the clock running. And it's not a huge gainer. Two minute warning. And seems to be over, but we'll see this one out. Seahawks are up. It's been all Seahawks since the second quarter. Rams dominated the first, but after that, Seahawks all the way. Steps back, rolls to his left, and he's running backwards. And then he's finally sacked by Cliff Averill. Second and 22, and Goff's going to hurry up this offense. Goff throws, and I think he tried to get it to his wide receiver, but underthrown, the ball just falls harmlessly to the turf. Third and 22 coming up. And if the Rams even want to get a touchdown here to make themselves feel better, they should get 15 plus yards on this next play. Goff. Stepping around. Throws it deep. And he, he had Watkins for a second, but he could not hold on. Now it's a fourth and 22 coming up. That's pretty much what you had to do. They went for it all, but they just couldn't get it done. Shaquille Griffin versus Robert Woods. And Woods has been held without a catch in this one, I believe. Goff. Throws it, and it's a drop. Ball was in his hands for a second, and then he got hit. So, ball fell to the turf. And that, that's a dangerous throw. It could really hurt people like that. Hopefully he doesn't throw anything like that in leagues that actually have injuries. 
So Wilson is going to come out, and I'll probably just kneel it. We'll see. But the Rams do have three timeouts, so they might have to play it through. And we have some time, so we'll show you the bracket after this play. Wilson's going to hand it left to Carson. And he's dropped behind the line. Loss of one. And that's just revenge for the Rams who have been killed by him all game long. Savage hit. Clock's running. Second and 13. I'll show you after this play. The bracket. Wilson's going to hand it to Carson, and Carson, gain of one. Third and ten coming up, and they don't even have to run another play, so it's official. Seahawks will move on, and the Rams will go home. So that's what it could have been, but this is what it is. If you look in your upper right-hand corner, they're going to take on the 49ers, led by Garoppolo. And we'll show you this last play. There's no last play. Sean McVay and his boys will go home in the first round again. This time falling to the Seahawks. And a crushing loss. Alright, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe to see the next round, which is, once again, Garoppolo's 49ers and Goff's Rams. And we'll leave you with some highlights. Alright, thanks for watching guys, and once again, this is Phantom, 